this is an EPDM roof that we did oh, maybe five, seven years ago, something like that. And uh, I just wanted to show you, I'm here to do another one for the customer. This roof is quite complicated because we've actually adjusted the falls of the roof from this side that you're looking at now to this side over here and then everything is running back to the outlets that you can see over here and another one over here massive roof all the way around but the, the rubber is the easy part it only, it only took a few days to do the rubber underneath this it's all the insulation that had to be put down that's what took the time because the roof used to fall over that direction and they had problems with the drainage at the front and also the pipes at the front so we put new outlets at the rear and took all the drainage back to the uh, to the rear that means that over at this area here the height of insulation that we put in was something like 350 mil and we used a tapered insulation so that when we came along and we put it down um, it, fall, it it reversed all the falls from this side over to, to this side over here but one of the interesting things about this roof which I'd like to sort of try and show you is what it's like people people get um, not panicky but stressed perhaps when they come out and they go oh it's soft and yeah, this is an EPDM roof and if you look here where I, I'm gonna get down here first of all here and this is five years later you can you, there's a there's a sheet of insulation there you can hear that and you can hear that one there. And in between the two, there's a ridge. I can just feel it there. And you can probably hear that. Okay, now, the the glue underneath here is a did here and a did here. And it's slightly hollow underneath there. It's not a problem. And again, there's a ridge just here. Now, it's soft. I don't know if you can see me putting my fingers into this. And if I put the ball of my foot into it, I don't know if I can do that for you. A bit, a bit of weight on there. It, it, it dents. It's not a problem. Um, this roof is not designed to be to be walked on. Realistically, we're supposed to be putting down crawler boards, which is the same specification, the BS specification for all roofs. But if you're careful, you don't come up here with your stilettos on, if that's what you want to do, because they would probably puncture it. Again, here, this is nice. You can just see here. The difference between the boards as they went down but none of that makes a difference that makes a problem all the boards are just glued down underneath this to stop what we call uplift that means the wind coming over the wind these factors had to be built into this is the wind blew over this parapet wall here and was to be twisting like so it forms what we call an uplift and that uplift can rip the roof off and get rid of it and these are the things that need to be calculated into the, the design of the roof. Well, I hope that's been a help to you. If you'd like any more information on this, you can call me. My name is Stephen from London Flat Roofing.